Are you considering a warm, sunny, and pleasant country to continue your education? What's the first option that rings a bell? Yeah, Brazil. There is so much to do and enjoy. Soccer, high quality of education, party, natural wonders, employment opportunities in the largest economy of Latin America. But are you wondering about the visa rules? Don't worry. Watch this video till the end so you'll find all of your answers. Hello everyone, this is Behnam from the Visa Library team. This channel is created to give visa information about your travel destinations and the easiest ways to emigrate. In this video, you'll learn all about the Brazil student visa, requirements, the application process and its details. I have a surprise for you. If you want to get it, watch this video till the end. Before we get started, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell. That way, you'll get notified about the latest videos and updates. Are you ready? Let's get started. Before I begin, let me ask you, do you need a Brazil student visa? Well, the answer is up to two factors. One, the duration of your course. Two, your nationality. You should know that a few countries are exempt from the Brazil short stay visa. Countries such as the US, South Korea, Israel, the UK, and most European countries. It means they can visit the country with their passport. Visit the Visa Library article from the link in the description box and see if you are among visa waived countries or not. If yes, and your course takes less than 90 days, you don't need a visa. But you should inform the immigration officials of your presence. In case your course takes longer than 90 days, you have to apply for a Brazil student visa. Let's say your nationality wasn't among the visa-waived countries. Now what? Well, in this case, you have to apply for a student visa and the duration of your stay doesn't matter. Do you want to know how to apply for a visa? Let's begin! The first step is to apply for a study program in a Brazilian university or education center. You need to prepare the requirements and apply to them. Each center has its own requirements, such as your latest educational certificate, a diploma, master's or bachelor's degree, your transcripts, a statement of purpose or a study plan, a proposal, a sample of writing, paid application fee, the language proficiency test, IELTS or TOEFL if the course is in English, CELPE BRAS, the official proficiency test for Portuguese, I don't know if I got the pronunciation right, sorry, I'm not that good in Portuguese. Visit the university's website and find the program you want to apply for. To find the precise requirements, pay attention to details, see the exceptions and read every line with care. After receiving your application, the university provides an acceptance or enrollment letter. Now you can continue the application process. On this part, you should gather the supporting documents for your student visa. Number one is the application form. If you're already in Brazil with a tourist visa, you should complete the online form on this website. You can find the complete link in the description box. You also need to get a clean record certificate. You can find the link again from the description box. After completing the form, visit the nearest immigration center to complete the procedures. Then pay the fees. If the authorities agree, your status changes to study permit. It's done. You, you don't have to do anything else. Now, are you going to apply from your home country? If yes, find the nearest Brazilian embassy or consulate in your home country. Visit their website and download the PDF application form. Complete it with your personal information. Your full name, as written in your passport, date of birth, passport number, email address, nationality, related information about your course of study, duration of your stay in Brazil, the student number provided by the university, and everything else. When you're done, print, date, and sign the form. Number two in the requirement list is health insurance. Purchase insurance that covers all of your expenses during the trip for 30,000 euros. Okay, the next step is the cost of studying in Brazil. How are you gonna pay them? Provide proof to have enough funds for your stay in Brazil, such as bank account statement, 
bank account balance, a letter issued from the bank, credit card limit, paycheck, income tax statement. The document needs to have a signature and a stamp from the issuing authority. But wait a minute, how much do you need in Brazil? What I'm about to tell you is a helpful formula. If you're applying as a self-fund student, you need one year tuition plus the cost of living for one year in Brazil by 10 to 20% higher. Let's say your tuition for one year is $20,000 and the cost of living is $10,000. So you need about $39,000. In case you have received funds from the university, subtract the amount from the mentioned formula. Do not forget to provide evidence from the university if you have funds or fellowships. Are you wondering to work in Brazil while you are studying? You cannot work in Brazil while you study. You can work when your course ends and a Brazilian company is willing to hire you, but you have no permission to work while you study. Number three is your passport. It must be valid for at least six months over the date your course ends. Then, take a look at the date it was issued. Is it older than 10 years ago? If yes, get a new passport, just to be on the safe side. Number four is the photo of you as the main applicant. Provide two 3x4 photos with a clear white background. Don't think of any shortcuts. The embassy won't accept scanned or copied photos. Also, your photos cannot be older than three months ago. If your face has changed a lot in the past three months, take a new photo. Number five is a clean record certificate. Get it from the police in your home country. The issuing authority must sign and stamp it. Number seven, a certified copy of your birth certificate. Number eight is proof of accommodation. Make it clear where will you stay during your study. A dormitory? Provide proof from the university. A rented apartment? Submit the rental agreement. Let me ask you, are you gonna stay with a friend or relative? If yes, ask them to send you an invitation letter and submit it along with your other documents. Number nine, are you under 18 years old? If yes, a permission letter signed by both parents is required. Last but certainly not least point to remember is that the authorities could require further documents. It's up to different factors, such as your special case, the country you apply from, the program or degree you have enrolled in, and other items. If your documents are not in English, have them translated into Portuguese or English by your verified translation office with a stamp and signature. The next step is to schedule a visa meeting with the Brazilian embassy in your home country through a phone call, sending an email, or a personal visit. The way is up to the embassy. Remember the exact date and time of the meeting. You cannot be late for it. Being late, you might have to say goodbye to your meeting. When the date comes, bring all the gathered requirements, your passport, the printed application form, and other ones, and visit the embassy in person. Entering the embassy could take you some time, so get there about an hour early. You can ask friends or applicants about the entrance procedures, just to get familiar with them. When meeting the officials, submit the requirements. You have to double-check everything in advance. There is no copy service or… sorry, I forgot this part. There is also a fee with the application, which you have to pay for it. Without paying the fee, there is no processing. Are you wondering how much? It's about $180, but it might change. It's up to the country you live in and the embassy services. You can see the fee on the embassy website or ask them in advance. So bring enough cash or your credit card. The visa officer will also ask questions about your course, university, the city you will stay in, the reason you picked Brazil and this particular university, your plans after your studies. This part is called the interview and it's important in your application process. Prepare answer for all of the questions. If the embassy suspects that your purpose of visit is not genuine, they are likely to reject you. You would better be honest and have convincing reasons. So, do your homework well. After the meeting ends, you should wait until the embassy works on your visa. There are two possible cases here. First, your application is rejected. 
In this case, the embassy will send you a letter and explain the reason for rejection. You can work on the reasons and apply again. Second, your application is approved. The embassy will inform you to pick your visa up. Congratulations! Now you can move to Brazil. Bear in mind that you only have 90 days to move to Brazil. You can leave and enter as many times until your study ends. There is one essential point to remember. Arriving in Brazil, you have to register with the Brazilian Immigration Authority or DPMAF. You have to complete the registration in the first 30 days of arrival. If not, your stay is not legal and there could be heavy consequences. You also need to register with the federal police. It's not a big deal and will be done in a few minutes. Just bring your passport and application form. So, how long your visa will be valid for? It's up to the duration of your course, but you can extend it to complete your education. You have to extend it to the federal police department and the Ministry of Justice. This is all you should know to apply for a Brazil student visa. For further details, you can visit the visa library article from the link provided in the description box. Before you leave, ensure to like this video and click the alert notification. That way, you'll get notified when we have a new video. Do not forget to write your questions regarding Brazil student visa in the comments section. Visa library team will respond to them right away. Do you remember I had a surprise for you at the beginning of this video? Download the free PDF file for Brazil student visa from the link in the description box. It helps you a lot in your application process. Don't walk away. Stay tuned for more videos and updates. Thank you all for watching.